Welcome to Paranormality Magazine. Each week, Paranormality Magazine explores all Fortean subjects, from phantoms to UFOs and every cryptid creature in between. Each week, you're treated to a collection of well-researched and investigated stories, interviews, and reports on cutting-edge paranormal projects and topics they know you crave. And here in the podcast, I share stories from the magazine to give you just a taste of what you receive in every issue. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is Paranormality Magazine. You suddenly wake in the dead of night, feeling startled and alert. Glancing at your bedside clock reveals the time is exactly three in the morning. The witching hour. This strange phenomenon occurs often enough that science sought answers in circadian rhythms and biology, yet many believe more sinister, supernatural forces are at play. As the veil between worlds thins, paranormal activity spikes and possibly disturbs our slumber. What might these shadowy powers be, and why do they seem to target 3 a.m. to rouse people from sleep? According to paranormal researchers, 3 a.m. represents a convergence of spirit world activity. In the wee hours, protective barriers supposedly weaken, allowing spirits easier access to the living. Ghost hunters report upticks in poltergeists and apparitions around this time, Mediums also claim 3 a.m. brings clearer connections and messages from the beyond. This involves more than just wayward spirits. Demonologists caution that 3 a.m. also harbors negative entities seeking vulnerable victims. Biblical scripture associates the hour with Satan prowling earth for souls to steal. Under the cover of night, demonic influences grow stronger to mislead people towards darkness. Waking suddenly around 3 a.m. may suggest one is under spiritual attack. Folklore reinforces the witching hour's link to dark forces. Ancient legends warn midnight to 3 a.m. are when malevolent spirits, including wicked witches, assemble to invoke curses and cast spells. References to 3 a.m. as the Devil's Hour date back centuries, turning this time into a fearful superstition. Strange and tragic events striking around 3 a.m. further cement the mystical warnings. Beyond harbingers of evil, 3 a.m. may also attract benevolent spiritual guides. Angelic beings are said to move among mortals during their most defenseless hours of sleep. Many report visitations from deceased loved ones at exactly 3 a.m., when mystical connections manifest most easily. Their touch jolts people briefly from sleep as a sign of spiritual presence. Skeptics challenge these paranormal explanations as irrational superstition. However, the historical persistence of spooky 3 a.m. associations must give one pause. If enough people over generations fear this hour, perhaps collective belief manifests paranormal powers we have yet to fully understand. For now, should you wake up at 3 a.m. feeling a strange presence, listen closely. You may have just received a message from the other side. Throughout the history of aviation, pilots have reported sightings of unidentified objects in the sky. These encounters continue to intrigue and perplex, and one such incident occurred in July 2022 when Julios Figueroa, a skilled pilot from Virginia, experienced a close encounter with a strange object while flying a plane carrying skydivers. Brandon Grimes brings us the story. With a passion for aviation from a young age, Figueroa's journey to become a proficient pilot led him to serve in the Navy for two years to accumulate flight time and enhance his skills. Following his military service, he embraced a job as a skydive pilot in the Midwest where he would eventually witness something extraordinary. 
on the fateful flight of July 10, 2022, as Figueroa and his passengers ascended to 10,000 feet, something remarkable caught his attention. A spherical golden orb emerged in the distance and began rapidly approaching his aircraft from the north, about 15 feet to his left, at an astonishing speed. Intriguingly, the object appeared almost invisible when looked at directly, a phenomenon consistent with reports from other pilots who have encountered similar objects. Figueroa described the orb as being approximately the size of a small car. Subconsciously, he turned the aircraft to the left as the enigmatic object zipped past, prompting an involuntary yell from Figueroa, which also caught the attention of three passengers, including one of the skydiving instructors. Despite Figueroa's attempt to get answers from air traffic control, no trace of the object was found on radar, leading to an intriguing mystery surrounding the encounter. As more investigations into unidentified flying objects, or UFOs, and unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs, are launched, sightings like Figueroa's may become more prevalent and continue to captivate the imagination of aviation enthusiasts worldwide. With stories of similar encounters reported from various corners of the globe, Figueroa remains vigilant during his flights, hoping to catch another glimpse of the inexplicable golden orb. As the search for answers regarding UFOs and UAPs intensifies, pilots like Figueroa may provide crucial insights into these enigmatic sightings that have fascinated humanity for generations. In February 1997, a man named Mel Waters called in to Coast to Coast AM a late-night radio show focused on the paranormal and the unexplained. Mel claimed to have discovered a hole on his rural property that appeared to be bottomless. This pit earned the name Mel's Hole, and Mel shared a tale of its incredible properties over several appearances on Coast to Coast AM. Mel described the hole as being roughly 9 feet across and at least 80,000 feet deep, far exceeding what should be possible given the geology of the area. He claimed to have thrown debris into the depths, including steel balls and dead animals, never hearing them hit the bottom. Mel even lowered a fishing line 80,000 feet down with a radio transmitter, but got no indication of it reaching an end point. He speculated that the pit may literally continue endlessly into the earth. Mel had other stories that added to the mystery and controversy surrounding the hole. He talked of government scientists coming to examine Mel's hole and confirming its anomalous nature. However, Mel believed the government later erased all records related to their study. He also reported that strange creatures would occasionally emerge from its depths. Animals seemed to deliberately avoid the hole, giving it a wide berth. Mel was convinced that Mel's hole connected to a massive system of tunnels winding through the Earth's interior. Mel refused to divulge the hole's location to others, saying he wanted to protect both it and those who might try accessing it. However, some researchers believe it's located in Manistash Canyon, home to many deep limestone caves. While Mel has now passed away, the enigma of Mel's hole lives on. Could his stories of an infinitely deep pit be true? Might it provide a passageway to a subsurface realm within the Earth? Many have their doubts, but believers say exploring this question requires examining the compelling concept of a hollow Earth. For centuries, various cultures and philosophers have posited that planet Earth is not simply a solid ball of rock, but rather contains vast caverns and spaces within. This idea is known as the hollow earth theory. Proponents believe passages at the north and south poles, as well as other access points around the globe, lead to an expansive inner world. Inside this subterranean space, civilizations and wondrous landscapes may exist. The ancient Greeks, including Plato, wrote of a legendary underground civilization called the Hyperboreans, living in the Earth's interior. Native American myths speak of an inner world called Agartha, populated by advanced beings. 
More recently, the notion of a hollow Earth gained popularity in the 17th and 18th centuries as scientists like Edmund Halley speculated that pockets of gas and matter accounted for Earth's lower density compared to surface rocks. In the 19th century, American thinker Cyrus Teed proposed the concave hollow Earth view which flips continental orientation and places humans on the interior surface of a hollow sphere. Other theories describe a planet riddled with tunnels like Swiss cheese, allowing access to inner cavities. Pseudoscientific concepts like the Shaver mystery posit that malevolent beings called Deros live in caverns below the surface. Today, devotees point to anomalies like Mel's Hole as evidence of hollow species within the Earth. They believe the poles are rimmed with entrances that explorers throughout history, including Admiral Byrd, have documented visiting. Inner-Earth theorists propose this other world houses mystical energy sources and lost civilizations descended from Atlantis. The idea remains hotly debated between skeptics and those convinced of an expansive reality beneath their feet. But how might Mel's hole tie into this? Mel was convinced his anomalous pit represented a passageway to uncharted subterranean parts of the Earth. He speculated that deep tunnels fanning out from Mel's hole connected it to vast underground ecosystems and landscapes populated by exotic creatures. For Hollow Earth believers, Mel's hole presents the opportunity to access this hidden realm. They argue that Mel's hole defies physics and geological science, making a hollow Earth the most logical explanation. No bottom detectable after 80,000 feet implies it breaches into open spaces deep in the planet that correlate with inner Earth theories. Its reported electromagnetic and gravitational anomalies could be effects of the hole tapping into the theoretical energy grid inside a hollow Earth. Some claim creatures rising from Mel's hole are denizens of the inner world, outlined in myths. However, skeptics say the reported properties of Mel's hole are simply scientifically implausible. Standard geology indicates no ready access points to inner Earth spaces, especially on Manistash Ridge, which sits above very solid basalt. Vast chasms and ecosystems inside the planet would produce notable gravitational effects lacking in measurements. And with no independent physical evidence or records of government research, many categorize Mel's Hole as an urban legend. While Mel's Hole remains shrouded in secrecy and uncertainty, it continues to spur creative thinking about the inside of our planet holding more than just rock and magma. As science and technology progress, we may someday confirm or conclusively debunk the possibility of a hollow Earth lurking beneath us in hidden access points like Mel's mysterious pit. For now, it remains an evocative idea for dreamers and explorers, a worthy successor to old legends of inner Earth. Want more paranormality? Subscribe to Paranormality Magazine, and each month get it delivered digitally or via mail in our print version. Paranormality Magazine is a collaborative endeavor featuring works from people like you who have a passion for all things mysterious and unexplained. Our goal is the pursuit of knowledge, gathering captivating stories from our own team of writers, researchers, and investigators as well as from writers such as yourself. Each monthly issue also includes a list of paranormal, horror, UFO, and cryptozoology events around the country, incredible paranormal-themed artwork, articles and writing sent in from our readers, suggested books and podcasts to consume, and more. Visit ParanormalityMag.com and subscribe today for as little as $3.99 a month. That's ParanormalityMag.com. ParanormalityMag.com. In a society known for its superstitions, a property agency faced an unusual challenge when tasked with selling an alleged haunted house in Klang, Malaysia. 
to reassure potential customers, they took a unique approach, seeking the help of a paranormal research team. Brandon Grimes from Paranormality Magazine tells us about it. The property in question was rumored to have a dark history, with claims that the previous owner had tragically taken their own life. Keen on dispelling these rumors and certifying the property's safety, the property agency hired a paranormal research team whose investigation garnered significant attention on the KL Salongorla Long Properties Facebook page. On the specified date and time of observation, May 30, 2023, from 9 p.m. to midnight, the dedicated team diligently explored the property, searching for any signs of ghostly activities. Their findings were encouraging, as they revealed no major indications of paranormal occurrences. They attributed the flickering lights to faulty cables, the door's movement to the wind, and the eerie sounds to wildlife in the vicinity. Intrigued by the team's assessment, netizens had a good-natured laugh, thanking them for confirming the absence of major ghostly activities while jokingly speculating about the possibility of minor ghostly activities. However, some curious netizens offered amusing suggestions to the research team. Some humorously recommended extending the observation period until 3 a.m., citing Chinese beliefs about heightened negative energy during that time. Another proposed an even longer investigation of 15 consecutive nights rather than days. Despite the light-hearted banter, the property's value remained significant, with a market worth of $2.4 million in their currency auctioned off at $1.4 million. Situated in a gated community with access to exclusive clubhouse facilities, the property possessed alluring features for potential buyers. While the haunted house might have once discouraged buyers, the intervention of the paranormal research team managed to dispel some fears. Ultimately, it seems that superstitions and beliefs still hold a place in Malaysian society, but thanks to creative solutions, selling even the spookiest properties can become a spirited affair, leaving netizens open to the idea of an extra companion in a large home. Baba Vanga, born Vangelia Pandeva Dimitrova, was an extraordinary mystic and clairvoyant from Bulgaria who gained international recognition for her alleged prophetic abilities. Born on January 31, 1911, in Strumica, a small village in the Ottoman Empire, her life unfolded against the backdrop of tumultuous historical events. Despite being blind from a young age, Baba Vanga's remarkable insights into the future captured the imagination of millions worldwide. This long-form biography delves into the life, predictions, and enduring legacy of the enigmatic seer known as Baba Venga. Vangelia Dimitrova's early life was marked by tragedy and adversity. At the age of 12, she lost her sight due to a tornado that swept through her village. However, it was during this traumatic event that she claimed to have experienced her first supernatural vision, which she interpreted as a divine gift. Word of her prophetic abilities spread, and soon people from all walks of life sought her counsel. Baba Vanga, as she became known, had the ability to see into the future, predict natural disasters, and provide detailed insights into individuals' lives. Her accuracy in foretelling events became legendary, and her reputation as a seer continued to grow. Throughout her life, Baba Vanga made numerous predictions that have both fascinated and perplexed people. Some of her most famous and accurate prophecies include the assassination of John F. Kennedy. It's believed that Baba Vanga accurately predicted the assassination of the American president in 1963, stating that an American brother would be killed by steel birds. The Fall of the Twin Towers Baba Vanga reportedly predicted the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center in New York on September 11, 2001. She described a vision of steel birds crashing into two tall brothers. Brexit and the European Union Baba Vanga allegedly predicted the United Kingdom's decision to leave the European Union. According to some accounts, she claimed that Europe would no longer exist as we know it by 2016. And the rise of Vladimir Putin Baba Vanga purportedly foresaw the ascent of the Russian president to power 
and predicted that he would bring about significant changes in his country. These are just a few examples of the many predictions attributed to Baba Vanga, which have sparked both skepticism and awe among believers and skeptics alike. Baba Vanga's prophetic abilities remain a subject of debate. Skeptics argue that many of her predictions were either vague or open to interpretation, and that any apparent accuracy could be attributed to coincidence. However, her supporters claim that she possessed an extraordinary gift, allowing her to tap into realms beyond our comprehension. Baba Vanga herself remained humble about her abilities, often stating that she was merely a vessel through which divine knowledge flowed. She believed that her purpose was to provide guidance and comfort to those in need, rather than seek personal fame or fortune. Baba Vanga passed away on August 11, 1996, leaving behind a legacy that continues to captivate and intrigue. Her predictions, though sometimes met with skepticism, continue to generate curiosity and speculation. Her life story and alleged abilities have been the subject of books, documentaries, and countless articles. Furthermore, her home in Bulgaria has become a pilgrimage site for believers who seek spiritual solace and hope. The house has been turned into a museum dedicated to her life, where visitors can learn about her predictions, examine personal belongings, and gain insight into the world of the blind mystic. Baba Vanga, the blind Bulgarian seer, left an indelible mark on the world with her alleged prophetic abilities. While opinions regarding the authenticity of her predictions remain divided, there is no denying the fascination and intrigue she continues to evoke. Her life story serves as a testament to the enduring power of belief and the human fascination with the mysteries of the future. Baba Vanga's enigmatic persona and her uncanny ability to peer into the unknown will undoubtedly continue to captivate the minds of generations to come. In a surprising twist to the ever-enduring fascination with unidentified flying objects, Italian researcher Roberto Panotti has brought forward some compelling evidence suggesting that the first UFO crash in history may have occurred in Italy during the 1930s, not in the U.S. Panani's extensive research, which began in 1996, has led him to uncover documents allegedly pointing to a mysterious incident near Milan in 1933. According to the documents, which were sent anonymously to Panani, the fascist regime of Benito Mussolini was allegedly involved in attempts to cover up the event. These telegrams, purportedly from the time, urged absolute silence regarding the unknown aircraft that had crash-landed. The UFO, as described in the documents, was said to have been stored in a hangar near Milan where a research team named RS-33, led by the renowned inventor of the radio Guillermo Marconi, was tasked with studying the enigmatic flying saucer. An intriguing aspect of Panati's claims is that the alleged Italian UFO crash predated the famous Roswell incident in the United States by 14 years. While Roswell remains one of the most iconic and debated UFO events in history, Panati's findings, if substantiated, would place Italy at the forefront of the UFO lore. David Charles Grush, a former member of the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency and National Reconnaissance Office, has expressed his belief in the authenticity of the Italian incident. Grush contends that the U.S. government possesses a craft of non-human origin. Throughout the years, numerous UFO sightings have been reported globally, with a concentration of accounts often revolving around U.S. airspace and facilities. Some experts, including a former NASA astronaut, cautiously acknowledge the possibility of extraterrestrial life but advise against preemptively assuming advanced extraterrestrial contact. The prospect of aliens visiting Earth has long captivated human imagination, leading to varying opinions on their hypothetical intentions and behavior. The sentiment is shared by those who believe that any civilization advanced enough to reach us would have likely encountered self-destructive challenges before reaching Earth. The question of whether we are prepared for potential extraterrestrial contact remains divisive among experts. While Panati's research offers an intriguing perspective, the claims warrant thorough scrutiny and validation by the scientific community before reaching definitive conclusions. In the ongoing quest for understanding the unknown, the tale of Italy's alleged UFO crash 
serves as a reminder that the universe still holds countless mysteries awaiting discovery and exploration. Until then, the search for evidence of extraterrestrial life and UFO phenomena continues to captivate both seasoned researchers and curious enthusiasts alike. An incident unfolded at San Francisco de Assis School in Tabica, Colombia, as dozens of children playing with a Ouija board experienced alarming symptoms and were subsequently rushed to a local hospital. Teachers and family members promptly provided assistance to the 36 children who exhibited distressing signs such as fainting, temporary loss of sight, and anxiety. In an attempt to address the situation, the school's rector, Emilio Belanta, resorted to sprinkling holy water over the group while uttering a prayer. However, the exact cause behind the unsettling episode remains shrouded in mystery, leaving the community searching for answers. Belanta expressed his bewilderment, stating that the incident was an unusual and seemingly diabolical occurrence. Some theories circulating among the community attribute the incident to the use of the Ouija board, while others suggest an online challenge found on the Internet. Nevertheless, no definitive explanation has been confirmed thus far. Thankfully, the majority of the affected children have shown signs of recovery since the incident, with their condition reportedly improving by approximately 90%. While some residual symptoms persisted for a few individuals, they are not deemed serious. Authorities have launched an investigation into the incident to shed light on the underlying causes and prevent similar occurrences in the future. Amarildo Correa, the Education Secretary for CASA Department, has called for increased vigilance among parents and teachers to ensure the well-being of children. He emphasized the importance of remaining attentive to prevent such incidents from recurring. This distressing event echoes a previous incident in Colombia, where 28 schoolgirls were hospitalized after using a Ouija board and subsequently losing consciousness. The affected students were accompanied by school staff to receive medical attention. Concerns were raised about the possible consequences of engaging in activities that could potentially open doors to unsettling experiences. Parents voiced their worries, urging authorities to investigate the situation at schools more thoroughly and ensure the safety of their children. Chris DeFlorio, a retired police officer who now works as an exorcist, offered a unique perspective on the matter, suggesting that playing with a Ouija board might have inadvertently opened a doorway to evil. DeFlorio, who performs exorcisms across the United States with his wife, Harmony, explained that there have been multiple documented cases of incidents involving teenagers and Ouija boards in Colombia. He cited an instance where a teenage girl began speaking in a strange language and struck her brother with a stick. While the exact nature of these incidents remains unclear, it is evident that the use of Ouija boards by teenagers has raised concerns and prompted authorities, parents, and educators to remain vigilant. As investigations continue, it's hoped that a clearer understanding of these occurrences will emerge, allowing for the implementation of measures to prevent similar incidents and ensure the safety and well-being of children in educational settings. Thanks for listening to Paranormality Magazine. Get more information about the magazine and subscribe to our monthly publication at ParanormalityMag.com. That's ParanormalityMag.com. Or click the link in the show description. And if you're a researcher or investigator, send us your stories. We might feature you in our next issue. If you have a paranormal podcast, you can add it to our website so our readers can find your show. And artists, if you'd like your work to be featured in our magazine or on our back cover, contact us. Again, our website is paranormalitymag.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll have more paranormal for you next time from Paranormality Magazine. <laughs>